but alright then guys welcome back to another video on my channel um today i'm gonna do my updated um championship table prediction for how i think it'll finish um at the start of the season i did one and let's be honest um a lot of ones i put on there are nowhere near at the minute obviously i put the likes of blackburn to go down who currently sit in eighth i put stoke to win the league who sat in 15th or 16th for a minute so I'm I've been miles off at the minute. Um, do go and check out that video if you haven't already. Um, <coughs> like I say, most of them were wrong. I will leave a link in the description below just so you can watch that, see how close I was with some of them and how far I was off with most of them. Um, but is my let's just jump straight into it, guys. So to finish in twenty fourth, I've actually put Bolton Wanderers. Obviously, it's cur currently Ipswich Town, but Bolton are having problems on and off the pitch, obviously not being able to play their play uh, pay their players and stuff like that. So I've put Bolton to finish 24th, and then just above them, I have put Ipswich. Um, I think that Ipswich have got too much to do now to stay up. Obviously, it's still possible for them to stay up, but it ain't going to be easy at all. They've got to rely on fixtures above, above them, other teams to be you know, doing badly and stuff like that, and I think... Really, the only team that's going to do worse than them is Bolton. Um, and in 22nd and taking the final relegation places, Rotherham United. Um, let's be honest, they started off well, to be honest. Um, their home form is really good, but the thing that disappoints them is their away form. <coughs> they seem to be able to get um, draws and stuff and lucky wins at home. But away from home, they are terrible. You know, they just can't win away. So, Tech in the final relegation zone place, I've gone for Rotherham United. And then, just staying up, um, I've put Reading. You know, I think that Reading will just be able to avoid the drop. Um, they've made some good signings. Well, they've made some signings to try and help them stay up, and I think they will. Then, just above them, in 20th place, I've gone for Wigan. They're another side that's made a few signings that I think will be able to keep them up for this season. Um, managed to keep on to Will Grigg um, signing Fox from Forest. So they've made a few good signings that will be able to keep them up, I think. And then in 19th above them, I've put Millwall. Um, obviously, they get their points at home. Another side that seems to get the points at home, but I just think they'll be able to stay up this year. And then in 18th, I've put Sheffield Wednesday. Obviously, they haven't really been able to do a lot with Steve Bruce not coming in till, like the end of the window. And they haven't really had the money to spend. I think they're still on a transfer embargo. So, you know, they haven't been able to do anything. And then sat in 17th, I've put Preston North End. They're a side that this year aren't doing as well as probably what they expected. You know, they'd have been expected to be around the playoffs places. Because um, they aren't a bad side, but they seem to be struggling this year. And then in 16th, I've gone for Brentford. They're another side that ain't doing well this year. Obviously, they lost their manager. Um towards the beginning of the season, leaving them for Aston Villa. So that hasn't had a good effect on them, to be fair. Um, and I just think that they ain't going to do anything this year now. And then in 15th, I've gone for QPR. Obviously, they're a side that really started off poorly, um, but managed to pick up a bit of form. They've got um, Steve McLaren in charge, so I just think that they will, will be there mid-table. In 14th, I've gone for All City. Obviously, they're another side that... Started off poorly, um, picked up quite a bit of good form, and you know, um, but I think they'll finish 14th this season. I think mid table for them this year. And then in 13th, I've gone for Stoke. Obviously, they're a side that we're expected to be going straight back up this year, especially with the side they've got. They start the season off with Gary Rowett, who obviously got sacked halfway through the season, and now have Nathan Jones in charge of them from Luton Town. Um, Obviously, he has got a good side. It's just whether or not he can get him playing for him. At the minute, I've gone for putting him as 13th just because I think that um, the stronger side's above him. So, I've put them in 13th. In 12th, I've gone for Swansea. Obviously, they're a side that, um, you know, come down from the Premier League. And I just think that they ain't going to go back up this year. And I think they won't even make the playoffs. I think there's some good sides above them. And I just think I've put them for 12th. In 11th, I've gone for Blackburn. 
They're another side that seem to be doing well this year, just coming up from League One and they sat ninth at the minute. Obviously, last year we had a few sides that were up that side of the table. I don't think they'll get playoffs, but I've put them to finish 11th. In 10th, I've gone for Birmingham City. Obviously, um, keeping hold of Che Adams in this window has been really important for them. And they have a good manager in charge, to be fair, but I just don't think they'll make the playoffs. Um, and then above them in 9th, I've gone for Aston Villa. Obviously, they have a good side, but um, they got rid of Steve Bruce at the start of the season. Well, through the season. And then um, they've had Dean Smith take over with John Terry. And I just don't think that in their first season in charge or in the first half of the season they've got in charge, that they'll be able to get into the playoffs. Maybe next season for them. Um, in eighth, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but I put Middlesbrough. You know, they haven't really done anything in the transfer window. And I just think that there's other sides above them that will be able to finish above them. Um, but yeah, in eighth, I've put Middlesbrough. In seventh and just missing out on the playoffs, I have put Bristol City. Um, you know, they've got a cracking little side with them. They've got the likes of Andy Vyman, Casey Palmer, and they have really got a good side. Um, not just that, I, I rate their manager, to be honest. Obviously, got them on a good cup run last year. And I just think this year they'll do all right in the league. In sixth and taking the last position in the playoffs, I put Nottingham Forest. Obviously, start of the season, they started off cracking. I took a ranker in charge of them, doing really well. And then they sacked him. Well, he left. But um, Danny Fox, in his first interview at Wigan, says he got sacked. So I'm not too sure what happened there. But I put um, Nottingham Forest to take up the last position. Obviously, they've got Martin O'Neill in charge with Keane at the minute, and I just think that they'll do well. They've got a good side. They've made a few good signings in this window, and I think they'll take the last um, playoff space. And fifth, I've gone for Derby. Um, I just think that we will be able to do it. You know, Lampard, he, he just puts all his effort in every game, no matter who we play. We play strong sides against every team. The strongest side that Lampard believes we play that every game. And I just think that we'll be able to make playoffs, if I'm completely honest with you. In fourth, I've gone for Sheffield United. They're a side that this year I didn't expect to be up there again this year. And they've done cracking. So in fourth, I've gone for Sheffield United. In third, I've gone for Norwich City, who are currently in the automatic promotion places. Um, I just think they're going to... Um, I just think there's the, the last two teams I've put above them have the better chance of taking the automatic promotion places. So I've put Norwich in third. Um, in second, I've gone for West Brom. Obviously, they're a cracking side this year. They've made some good signings in the window. You know, so I've just gone for them in second. I can really see it. And in top of the league, let's be honest, as much as we all hate to say it, I've put Leeds. They've got a good manager. They've had their bad spout. And I think now it's time for them to get promoted. Um, so, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Do make sure you like and subscribe. And comment your thoughts below on my predictions. And also, like I say, watch my last prediction so that you can see how far I was off of them. Thank you, guys.